after all these years. Finally, we have them all. Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the two Uno games on the GBA. Uno 52 is a variation of the classic game. Here, the deck is made up of 52 standard playing cards, split into 4 colors instead of 4 suits. The AI is great, the menus look great, everything is made in style. But the problem is that you really need to love Uno 52 if you want this game. Because that's all the game has to offer. Uno 52. It doesn't offer the classic Uno, nor are there any other game modes. You only get Uno 52. So, in amount of content, the game is scarce, but at least the quality of that small amount of content you get is really good. Uno Freefall feels more like a Tetris variant than a game of Uno. You have to eliminate Tetris blocks, but following the rules of Uno. Aside of the classic mode, the game also has time attack and challenge, where you get a predetermined streak of cards that you have to eliminate. This game too is excellent in content quality, but it doesn't offer that much in amount of content. The game itself is fun. I don't consider it addictive like the original Tetris game for example, but if it hooks you, the gameplay hours and replay value will make this game worth every penny. If it hooks you. But if not, the game will most probably still be enjoyable to you. 